Hey, this is Russell, back again with another episode today. And the last couple of episodes, I was having trouble finding the upcoming releases. That's because this event calendar is the upcoming releases. I figured out how to finally look at this thing. Um, so right now I have no filter selected, so it's just gonna go ahead and show all of the releases. If you mouse over something, red stands for someone else's, your green one stands for yours, and these are, you know, all the rest of the stuff. But yeah, this is a on Office when it's coming out. And if we also look, there's another 2D editor coming out at this time. So this won't be the time to release the 2D editor that we have almost done from development. Looking down the events calendar, if we go to this year, there are no 2D editors coming out this year. And if we look the year after that, of course, there's nothing scheduled yet. Um, I don't believe there's a 2D editor coming out in 1996 also, but the 2D editor from December is still going to be influencing the market at that point. So I think the best bet would be to go for September 1997. That way we can also just spend a little bit of time clearing out these bugs. So let's go ahead and market this to, it's saying August actually, September 1997. And we'll bam. And we're going to set that. Two years and six months is plenty of time. Uh, we'll have the marketing teams, I believe those are two, phones and phones night, yep. Do this. And we're going to also release the first press build of this. And we're also, of course, going to have to hype this. And we can, I think it'll. Go ahead. Oh, we have to wait till tomorrow for us to be able to see the press build. It's been a while since I played. This is a few updates after the last recording session, as always. And yeah, so this release is coming up in December 1995. So you have that to look forward to. Um, we aren't making too much uh, money off of this anymore. Um, off of anything right now. So we're just going to sit here and bleed a little bit of money until December and that's fine in the meantime uh, we can get ready to move this up into development next development phase and all that jazz so let's go ahead see if uh, this episode we can go ahead and uh, do that uh, we can read the, the newspaper today pre-release review of Zebulon Paint 3 Zebulon Inc has put out a build for Zebulon Paint 3 we've given it a test run we haven't really heard about Zebulon Paint 3. It might be the new big hit. It has all the features, all the new features. It won't be out for a while. Yep, there's some lightning going on. And there's also a weed hacker going on outside the door of, uh, or outside the window IRL. So apologies if you hear that. Uh, looks like Zebulon Paint 3 is gaining the hype. Um, we might not be able to release this today. I'm sure their hands are going to be pretty full with that. Um, there's something else I wanted to look at. Uh, so Zebulon Paint 2 was very successful. Grossing in... Does it have like the record of that? Uh, $49 million profit. Selling one, one, more than a half, one and a half million in uh, net units sold. So Zebulon Paint 3 has uh, some pretty big expectations to look up to. Let's wait till this flashes so we can promote it. Promote. Yep. And yeah, it doesn't look like we'll be able to release this. I'm gonna wait till, I think it is October of this year to release this, as well as put out a new press build for uh, Zebulon Office. And for a while, we're just gonna let them work on this. And I think the 2D team, once uh, Zebulon Office is out, can just go ahead and start the next iteration of, not next iteration, next release of uh, Zebulon Office. I think that's going to be the plan. So yeah, we have to wait until December. We're just going to chillax because there ain't much to do, as far as I remember. Uh, we have the phones covered because we have that night shift going on now. 
and they're doing their job marketing and all that jazz. Uh, are they putting time into this? Yeah, so why isn't this making any progress? I guess they're working so hard on the hype. That's weird. Hmm. We still have a lot of active users going for this. And the marketing for this is kind of important so that we can just keep the fans up for this so that the next release can be pretty big. Uh, what's the fans we got here? 2,000 followers as opposed to just this being 129 followers because it's the very first release. And look at all those beautiful green cars. Uh, there's a few cars that aren't green because those are people like the cleaners. I really wish you could like have them show up as like the same color cars as everyone else. That could be fun. Uh, I don't think I'm selecting the cars themselves. I think I'm selecting the, the parking spots under the cars. You can assign these parking spots. There is no point in doing this at the moment, but eventually if we like make a warehouse here or something like that, we'll want like a row of parking lots set for just the couriers and stuff like that so that they'll be able to pick up uh, everything they need to pick up. So it's almost the end of April. And again, uh, oh, I was about to say we don't have to do anything, but we should do this. And what is it like? And people like it. Also, Age Inc. has inquired Alley. So that company is getting more IPs, I guess, doing stuff and things. Um, I never really mess with buying companies in this. I mean, I have, but I haven't really, like, profited from it so I'm just gonna stay away from it for this run I'm trying to do things this run that I'm I'm barely competent in so because I'm so incompetent in uh, trying to make money from other companies like that I'm just gonna go ahead and stay away from it this run but yeah let's go ahead and continue to the eggs next day so yeah, we're going to watch uh, myself, Russell Moneybags, go to his office today. Maybe skip time a little. And here he comes, right? Yep. Oh, he went downstairs. There must be a meeting. So yeah, he'll come back upstairs in a minute. Seems like he doesn't spend a lot of the day working. Now he's working though. Um, is there computer upgrades at this point? 2000. We can go to the laptops though. Um, what's the difference between power and environment? That seems to, I guess it's, is it using less power or is it more effective? Hmm. That's interesting. That uses full power again. Is it durability factor? I guess it's... No, no, electricity is usage and power, so it's slightly less in terms of electricity, but I don't care about that. Huh. I wonder what makes laptops superior. I need to look into that because I've always just kind of upgraded them automatically to laptops, but is that the right thing to do? That's interesting. That is the thunder in game because uh, it is raining again. Let's look at the canteen floor today. We have our two leaders here whose offices I still kind of want to rearrange. I might just haven't gotten to it yet. And then we have our little canteen area, which is now closed. Um, but we can we can watch it tomorrow. These, this is a little lounge area. Burglars went home empty-handed because we have our amazing security guard team. And we'll wait till next day to see everyone come into the canteen. Bear with me as uh, we wait for this to happen. How's Zebulon Office coming along? 
Zebulon paint. Uh, we can probably go ahead and just start working on this again. But we won't release this for a while. Uh, this has to be iteration 4, yeah. So once iteration 4 is complete, then uh, you'd see that for real. So now let's see people go to the canteen. There should be a chef that comes in if I remember correctly. Uh, there seems to be food here from yesterday. He's making food. I wonder if he's making enough for people. Let's see people come and eat today. Is anyone coming to eat? Where is everyone? That guy's eating, but he's not eating in the canteen. What was that? Why are they not eating in the canteen? They're just eating in the lounge area. Huh. Doesn't all that food get wasted then? Or does it somehow stay until tomorrow? I'll have to look into that. I'm pretty sure the other canteen is functional because I've watched the other canteen work. Let's, let's watch this day one more time to make sure that uh, the canteen is indeed working. And August, September, October is when I need to, to move on. Uh, move to the next spot. And are these people going to eat today? They seem to all just want to eat here. I'm puzzled to why they don't want to eat in the canteen area. Like, is literally no one going to sit here? That's weird. I think they sit in these chairs in, uh, in the other canteen, though. Why is it that they only want to sit here? Is it because they're not as comfortable? Let me watch the other canteen tomorrow, because I'm pretty sure they they sit in these chairs. Where are they going? Weren't they sitting in those chairs in previous sessions? Are they, They're going all the way here to eat. I'm so confused. Why are they eating in the lab? What's changed? Maybe it's a new bug? Uh, tomorrow will be, uh, uh, yeah, next month will be October. Huh. So confusing. Let's look at the room types. Hold on. Room labels. Yep, that's a canteen. And what kind of rooms can be assigned? Like, is there like a dining room that I can add? No. What was it? Uh, room type. It's not limit rooms usage, right? Not switch teams. Hmm. What was it again? Is it limit rooms usage? Yeah, okay. Canteen. So does it have to be set to a lounge? Let's try to set that to a canteen again. And everything else seems to be working as intended. I'm pretty sure the previous episodes it was working as a canteen still. Try that again. It seems like they don't eat all of their food because they don't want to eat in uh, the canteen. So let's release this. Let's. That was a press build. Yeah, that was a press build for the office. Let's mark it for this. Okay. So that wasn't too soon, that's good. 
So that's going to grow in just a few followers. But every follower counts. Every follower counts. And next month we will end up marketing for this. Well, not next month, the month after next month on December when we release that. Uh, bugs are making pretty big progress here, which is good. We want this to be a very good uh, thing. They don't seem to be wanting to eat in the canteen anymore. They just eat in the lounge. Um, and again, there isn't like a dedicated dining room, right? Yeah. Huh. Let's see if everything else is functioning as should be. So this is a 3D team editor, 2D, an audio, and then core, 2D essentially, but then also office software. Uh, we'll read the press release next month for the software times. We'll also make sure everything here is functioning as properly intended. Yeah, I don't remember them eating outside of the canteen before. The article says, haven't really heard of it, but it'll be, it might be, it might be the newest big hit. Just the potential of it being the newest big hit is enough for me. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what happens in the, this room today. So everyone will walk through. No problemo, right? Go up the elevator as much as they can. And maybe have a meeting today, maybe not. Doesn't look like it. No meetings today, I guess. I guess they don't have a meeting every day. Today's not December, right? Yep. It's fine. They just want to work today. Won't stop them from doing that. And we'll make sure uh, next month we release it at the proper time. So we'll get ready to end this. Pause on the exact time, exact beginning of December. Come on, we need that money. We lost like two million in the last uh, couple months. Um, yeah, except on close. We'll be losing much more. So let's go ahead and end this. Release this. Yep. And we want to start marketing campaign. Yes, of course. Let's set it to 200,000. See if we can reach that. These two teams are these two. Perfect. And yeah. So let's see how that goes. These two iterations are almost done, so I need to keep an eye on that. This is gonna need support. And let's see how the marketing goes for this. Also, let's go ahead and start you. Uh, make sequel. By the 2D team. Where is it? Uh, it'll be core actually. And core. Zebulon Office 2, it should have you. Should have you. And what else are we doing with you? Let's do a uh, virtual assistant. Because why not? We have the technology, so we can do it. Um, we'll do that a whopping $70, because why not? And yeah, let's go to advanced. We have an SCM now, I believe. Yep. And did we use a framework before? Uh, Zebulon Office 1.0, yeah, we did which will significantly reduce development speed. 
even though it'll bring the tech level back just a tad, I think it's worth it. Uh, we could even add network if we wanted to. Hmm. About a year speed boost. Wasted interest. Hmm. Let's see what we can do about that interest. 99%. Uh, Vector Pro. Can we just stick with our Zebulon paint? Yeah. Zebulon paint 3. Cutting edge technology. Uh, what else can we add to that? Oh, because network is only on these dudes. But network should be on a lot more things in the coming future. So network does limit it to that. I think that's interesting. Well, it's the way of the future, you know? So, mm, but then it kind of cuts out of our, our market. Let's not choose the way of the future this time. Instead, let's go. Uh, where are we working on the audio editor? But we don't have one yet. Okay. 1995, I guess. With a sound effect library. Because why not? And that should make our interest be able to be brought up to 100%. And. Anything else? Nope. Develop? Why not? Looks are dependent. Yeah. Just dependent on that one. And that should be the next iteration. This can move up to priority 8 because we already busted out a ton of bugs on there. And these guys should be able to handle that. Let's move this here. So I can just keep a watchful eye on this. Um, yeah, this should be released maybe like a little bit past midway next year, along with a press build. Uh, and let's watch here. I want to make sure everything's functioning as intended. So if it's functioning as intended, because Russell Moneybags has the yeah, they'll look. They're doing a meeting. Okay. So at least that's working. Uh, social weeds. Hmm. Interesting. So just the canteens that seem weird. And I wonder if that's a bug or if that's me being stupid about how canteens work. Maybe, like, the dining area is supposed to be the lounge. If so, then I might do a bit of rearranging before the next episode. Um. Let's see how much marketing we get. We'd still have a bit of a night shift to try to knock out a little bit more marketing. Um, looks like we can reach the 200,000 mark, which is good. Let's do, let's push it to 215. Let's get a tad bit more. Push it to 220. And then the rest can go to reducing hype loss on this. Okay. Losing. Ah! I need to order physical copies. It didn't prompt me for that. Oh, darn it. Maybe it did prompt me for that. Did I sell physical copies? Net units sold 1,300. That's crazy. Uh, let's do 200,000. Ooh, I might have bo busted up the release there. Man. Um, Software Times. Extremely well put together. Don't expect it to sell very well. Uh, let's see what it does. Uh, that was That was dumb. That was dumb, 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 dumb. 
Ooh. Come on. Okay, that's the end of the episode timer, but I have to... Come on, cancel. Um, I have to let it finish today because I need the satisfaction of seeing myself in the green after that loss. Because <laughs> that hurt my soul. That hurt me, pierced me right to the center of my heart right there. Um, I believe, oh, looks like this is not next level. This is going to be almost at the next level, maybe today. Can I start developing this as well? Yep. Oh. That was a stab to my heart. This is already going through pretty fast in next iteration. They're still working on bugs on this one just a little bit. Uh, come on. Well, at least the next month should yield. But usually it's the second month that yields the most sales anyways. I wonder what that effect that does have on the release. I mean, the Office software recognition has gone up tremendously because I guess it's a really good product. So we sell. Uh, it might have been because I screwed up. Oh, well. So that's it for this episode. <laughs> Ending on a little bit of a low note, but who knows? Maybe I'll be able to make the money back on this. Um, I guess we'll have to see next episode. But yeah, like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you want to see more. You know what? It, it's usually not dependent on, uh, it's usually not about on with the first release um, selling, making such a big profit, so much as just getting the recognition. And, and it is looking pretty bad in the red because of, uh, we just bought 200,000 copies. Let's let this go take over to two. I'm cheating a little bit. I'm going past my 25 minutes mark, but I got to see green and I know I'll see green this next month after the, because I, I spent money the last month trying to get the 200,000 copies. Got to see the green. So I'm not going to end this episode yet. So anyways, like, comment, favorite, subscribe if you guys want to see more. Um, I've been Russell in this game, Muscle, Muscle Money Bags, even though it's not my last real name. But yeah, you guys have a good one. God bless, and I'll leave you off once this is green. Come on, money. Go to my bank. Please, please. Please, please. Awesome. Goodbye. <laughs> See you next episode. I have a good one.